What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Trucker Style Show on YouTube channel. Today, working on that thing right there. Doing a new fuel water separator. So I think I had the same problem as Trucker AK. I'm back. All right, so basically what I'm doing is, I'll turn the camera around in a second, but changing that old style fuel water separator out. And what I got is this. New one, but if you can't see on there, what's that say? That's made for a Detroit diesel, but the filter, We'll filter the same amount as the other filter. This is a slot smaller unit. This is an aluminum unit. This does not have the extra coolant lines going to it. And all in all, it's just a newer style. I have a lot of rust on there. And uh, last time when I was working on it, I ended up um, basically going through and seeing a lot of corrosion, even on the inside of that, uh, of that fuel water separator. So that means, I was pulling air in through the fuel water separator. So, when in doubt, change it out. And while I'm at it, the rest of the fittings came in. I'm gonna be changing over the, the other fittings on the fuel system. Y'all already saw I got that new turbo in. I'm gonna go over to my buddy John's. And uh, not today, that'll probably be the next video. We're gonna be changing that out and I picked up some six inch dual stacks to go on here. So this, my single five inch will have been very short lived and probably won't even haul a load with just a single five inch instead of going to dual six inches now. So let's get this whole journey started. Um, I had to just go buy a piece just to basically loop those coolant lines and yeah. I'm gonna go from there, get everything buttoned up, and yeah, I'll show you mounting it and running all the new lines. Uh, I went with all push lock fittings. Some of the AN fittings that I made for it are leaking. Actually, only two of them are. That's the return lines actually going into the tanks. So I just got push locks, and I'm also gonna be using hose clamps as well. When in doubt, just go old school on everything. You know what I mean? Push lock, tried and true for generations. Might as well use them. So let's get this thing started, y'all. All right, so I just pulled the coolant hoses off of this and basically looped them a little bit. I haven't tightened them down yet. I am gonna be rerouting those just to get them a little bit better. But look how big of a mess I made. God. Yeah. Woo! Fun times, you guys. Fun times. So, I'm gonna get through. I'm gonna pull the rest of these lines off. I'm gonna start unbolting this dang thing. That way we can bolt up the new one. And go from there, y'all. Let's do it. Alright, I got one of the bolts out. I ended up having to go buy a sawzall. So I can't find mine. So we gonna cut this one out. I'm going to see if I, uh, I forgot my stand with me today. So I'm going to see if I can't find somewhere to prop this up. That way I can get you all uh, some video of cutting this thing. All right, here we go. And just like that, we done cut the old one out. Now I don't care about this one. I'm not reusing it. It's just going in the trash anyway. So yeah, y'all can't see. That's how I cut it. Damn near the only way to actually get to things. how I'm gonna get these things out then we're gonna test fit the new one all right I'm gonna test fit it get right back with y'all all right I don't know if y'all can see all these different like particles in here that's the reason we're changing this thing out you see all that crap we're getting that out of the system the inside of this is rotted out that's why we're changing it y'all so got the new one mounted on 
Got some new AN fitting, or not AN, but new fittings. Some new push locks. Gonna start getting this thing assembled. I got my uh, thread sealant on. Here's the fuel in. Tighten that in a second. Then I am adding a, a different check valve than that came with it. This is one of the Cummins check valves that I will be putting right in here. I'll get back with y'all once I get all this done. And like that, bam. I got the new fuel, uh, fuel water separator in. Like I said before, I put a Detroit diesel fuel water separator on my Cummins M11. A lot smaller, a lot compact, a lot easier. Y'all see I got all the clear fuel lines. Let me start this bad girl up for you. And you can see there is absolutely no more air getting in through the system. You'll see there are zero bubbles coming throughout this whole system. Check it out. Oh, let's get a let's get a little little start up here. How's that? y'all a couple of revs. I still got to go back through start tucking up some of those hoses just so they're not rubbing and put some uh basically make it and clean it up a little bit more but y'all get the basic gist of it so yeah basically the same problem as trucker ak had except his was just the check valve that was bad mine was the whole entire unit was rotten out from the inside the actual person who gave me that inspiration was trucker ak for even trying this so appreciate it brother but y'all take it easy keep the rubber side down like comment subscribe if you made it this far say detroit on the comments later y'all